Welcome to the testing board. In this session, we are going to perform recording in JMeter. So to perform recording, we need to go here on the workbench, right click on that, add non-test elements and HTTP test script recorder. Here we need to perform few settings, but before doing that, I'm moving to my browser and first we need to perform setting in the browser network. So I'm going to the options. Here we are going to advance network and settings. So I'm going for manual proxy configuration and we can set any of the port over here. So 192.168.0. .1. So that's my localhost or we can set it localhost and here on the port we can give any port so I'm giving 8082. So all the traffic which will transfer from this browser or this browser will receive will be from this port. So what we are going to do we are going to record all the traffic is going to be transferred by this port click on this checkbox so all the data all the files which are going for with the SSL or FTP or circuit so every file which is going from this browser will be through 8082 port click on OK so browser setting has been done now moving to my JMeter so here we have a test script recorder and what all the pages that we want to record so I'm adding logic controller which is a recording controller so I'm adding my recording controller is like I'm giving the name of this recording controller is my main functionality so you can give any name over there and now coming to my test script recorder here where you want to record so my I want to record in this main functionality recording controller one more thing that we need to set like by default it will record the traffic which will go from this 8080 port but we have set 8082 port so everything is done. Click on start button so it will start recording. Once it will start recording click on ok yes recording started. Now go to the browser and perform whatever the action we want to perform on our website so first i'm opening my website so my first page will load and on the backend side we can check that it is recording or not so let it open so here we see my first page gets open and on the jmeter side we can check it over here what all the requests are taking place while opening my main page or i'll say the home page it records all the requests so here we can see it record all the requests because whenever we are opening any page so multiple requests are going to the server one for CSS one for any other content so in my page a lot of requests are going to the server so it recording all the requests now main page is recorded I'm adding one more recording controller that is I'm giving the name as SQL page. So for SQL page, I'm creating one more recorder. I'm coming to my test script recorder and rest of the functionality. I'm saying that should be recorded in the SQL page. Now going to the browser and here I'm moving to the SQL for tester page. A new request is going to the server and Whatever the request we are sending to the server for this SQL page will be recorded in this SQL recording controller. Here we can see a lot of steps are there because my page is built in with a lot of smaller sections. So for each of the section it is making request to the server. So even we are hitting the one request but on the back end a lot of requests are going to the server and it is recording all the requests. By same way, if you want to record few more pages, like I want to record one more page, 
so i'm coming to recording controller and this time i'm giving the name unix page again going to the test script recorder and changing rest of the section should be recorded in the unix page moving to the browser click on unix linux for tester so whatever the request which are going for this page will be saved in this recording controller here we can see as more requests are going to the server it is recording all the requests once you have recorded your scenario we can go to stop so once we stop this means recording has been done and after stopping this we need to revert the changes that we have done on the browser so i'm going to the browser again options advanced network setting i'm setting it to the system proxy setting because it was default for my system okay so on the browser level we have done and now we are on a jmeter so because as of now it's in the workbench which is a temporary element so i want to take this in my thread group so i'm creating a thread group means my first test case i'm creating so tc001 and in this thread group i'm taking all these recording controller so everything is done and i have taken my recording controller into my test case in the test case we have three recording controller which have a lot of request and if you want i can add listener over here and if you want to execute we can run our test case but before running it it asks us saving it so i'm saving now running it so it will execute all the recorded steps so here you can see all the recorded steps are executing and it's getting passed as well so that's the second way we can perform recording in jmeter we have already covered the first approach in which we are using bad boy thanks for watching this video